This video contains material that may be disturbing. The subject matter and opinions may be considered controversial. Viewer discretion is advised. My name is Livix and I've been ghost hunting for over 10 years. I feel you here. Give me a sign. I've seen things you can only imagine. I rely on my partner to guide me and check my vitals. My name is Lemon, a retired EMT and priest. I monitor the vital signs. Be careful going in there. I'm the only one standing between her injury and possession. Together we help families reclaim their lives and homes. And lay the deceased to rest. Join us. If you dare. Margaret Smith, her husband John Smith, and their son John Jr. arrived at our offices last week with a very creepy and potentially dangerous case. They informed us that there have been light switching, doors opening and closing, and weird sounds and smells in the house. They have also informed us that they could not have any loud noises in the house and that the radios had turned on or off. John Jr. told us that it felt to him that he was the target and that he could always smell raw meat or blood in his room when he was alone. They are really scared and asked if we could investigate. Here we go. You are very quiet. Mm. Okay. Mm, I don't know. I feel funny. Like ah, uh, funny, sick funny. That was not funny. Uh, no, neither of those things. Yeah, it's uh, it's this area. It's full of spiritual and residual energy. It's it's making my head hurt. Your heart rate is really high. There's something in the bushes watching me. I can't I can't make out what what it is. I can't make out the shape. This is very strange. Very, very strange. What is it? It is dead quiet in the house. Whatever the entity is, we really does not like noises. Could be a yokai. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, I also heard it. Creaky too. Yeah, careful then. Power's on. I'm doing a quick scan of the area.
Mason's clear. Scanning the rest of the house now. I mean the left bedroom. Um, everything looks in order. Your vitals have stabilized. <laughs> Did you just giggle? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I keep getting told to shh. This yoka really hates noises. Then maybe let's not provoke it then. That fan scared me. We have a glass on the floor. A little strange. Hello? I hear you walking. Did the EMF go off? No. So strange. It is cool in the room, but no EMF. Ow. Are you okay? I just walked into him. I can feel a force stop me. Then he moved out of the way. He is getting irritated. Uh, he might manifest himself soon. He was mostly showing me with uh, his finger on his mouth and telling me to shh. Every time I spoke, I could feel him getting angrier and more irritated. I knew that for my safety, I would need to keep quiet. But that was not an option. We needed to identify who he was and why he was haunting John Jr. so that we could save the family. Boy, he is definitely not happy. You monitoring the activity? Yep. And? It's spiking like crazy. Be careful. I will. Just making sure we have the right room. Yep, it's the boys' room. We have light switching. Let's see if we can catch something on the camera. Okay, camera's done. Hopefully we will be able to see some orbs. He's still moving and dropping things. Okay, let's see if we can see some fingerprints. But don't we know that it's a yokai? They don't leave any prints. I know, but we need to document it for extraction team. You know how they get. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Crap. Are you okay? 
Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, uh, shoot. Viv, your vitals are spiking. What's going on? Oh, this smell is horrible. What does it smell like? Uh, it smells like mm, like a butcher's house. It's been left. For, uh, it's been left closed for three months. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh. I was getting increasingly sick. The smell became more potent with every step. It smelled like blood and rotten meat. He was also showing some images of him chopping animals into bits. He could have been a butcher. I got increasingly anxious. Everybody, it's Ranger time! If your path thins too small, get off your horse and ask your companion to follow you. Remember, it's better to be safe than sorry! This tip is brought to you by the new Hanover Rangers. Lemon, he showed me his name. It's Robert Jackson. The zero killer that went by the name The Butcher of Willerton Way? Yes. <laughs> I saw him. He showed me his full life. Everything. Vivix, you need to calm down. Your vitals are all over the place. I know, I know, I know. Please. Sorry, that was uncalled for. We need to get more evidence for the extraction team. We have enough. No, we don't. They will not touch this house for a cleansing without a full investigation with the photographic evidence, and you know it. We have orbs. Let's go. Uh, the radio is on. Uh, is it heavy in here? are going crazy in here. Doing a quick sweep for fingerprints again. He 
what's up creeping up behind me? I can feel him breathing on my neck. We need one more bit of evidence. What are you thinking? Spirit box. You're going to talk to a serial killer that hates noise. That sounds like a very good idea. It's the only thing we have left. How about you find out more about Robert while I finish up here? Will do. Crucifix down. Let's start talking. I know you are here. What are you doing here? How don't you die? <gasps> Where are you? Okay, uh, we have a spirit box. I'm going to get the camera for some photos. Uh, did you find anything about Robert? Robert met Jackson, born 10 September 1972. Moved around a lot with his mother and father. His father was a hunter and owned a butcher shop. Robert got really into preparing meat. He was described as a very quiet person. At the age of 16, police found his mother and father dead in the butcher shop. Use your imagination how they found him. Oh, okay. They found no connection between the deaths of his parents and Robert. At the age of 24, he was arrested for animal abuse at the shelter where he worked part time. He was released because there were insufficient evidence to hold him. He moved close to where we are now, where he proceeded to murder nine people. Before the police could arrest him, Robert went missing and the murder stopped. Do you think the locals got him? Would explain the sudden disappearance and the hauntings. But why this house? Some theorize that this house was built to hide the gravesite, but no evidence was found until recently when they renovated the basement and came across human remains, and soon after the hauntings began. Makes sense. Put that in the feedback for the extraction team. I have ghost writing. It's definitely a yokai. Got the bone photo. A ball photo. And the ghost writing. Placing a motion detector for the extraction team. Okay, it's working. What do you want to say to the family? Not to come to the house until we are 100% sure it's safe. Robert will hurt them if they came back, starting with John Jr. Let's get out of here.